I mean, great turnout. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the hype behind this fight um, will be huge, you know. Um, I hope that the build-up justifies the attention it's got so far, and I hope the fight in the end does the same as well, because um, on paper, this has probably been built as a 50-50, maybe even uh, Eubank Jr. Uh, being a, a favourite, but um, I don't really understand that. I think um, the uh, the form, you know, the history, um, the experience, the ability all lie in my favour. Um, I'm looking forward to a, a big night, um, but it's the semi-finals of, of a tournament that I've plan to win so it's just a, an, another step another fight along the way um, we're already we're already training for it we've got the date we're looking forward to it and um, we're in a fantastic place so we, uh, we can't wait I mean um, Junior wraps his own hands I believe stuff like that you know um, he maybe puts on the facade that he can do it all himself um, I can. he is a sort of a one-man band but it's my, it is very difficult doing stuff on your own. We'll see if he if he if he stays uh, like that, or if he starts to conform and, and change and adapt and uh, you know make 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 changes, which I, I'm sure he will and, and certainly will have to do. If he doesn't, he makes it even easier for me. But um, he he will, which is you know, just a, a credit to me, I suppose. You know that uh, obviously this is his first real fight, big fight, definitely a super middleweight. Um, he's uh, he's going to fall short in a lot of categories, a lot of, a lot of things, and um, that just makes me excited to have this fight. Uh, this is probably the, the biggest fight in terms of uh, profile, in terms of, um, you know, this tournament, the hype. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I rise to the occasion always. The bigger the fight, the better I perform. And, um, you know, George seems to be <clears throat> focused or hung up on what I'm going to do and, you know, how I'm going to change and conform and all these things. Uh, you know, he really needs to worry about himself because, you know, thinking about what I'm going to do isn't going to get him anywhere. I read... Um, I read a statement the other day, George said that uh, if he fights the same or if he boxes the same as he boxes against Jamie Cox in his last fight, then, um, you know, he'll have no problem beating me. Um, you know, that statement started with an if. Uh, that means that there is, you know, a possibility of him not being able to do that. Um, you know. There are, there are no ifs and buts where I'm concerned. Uh, it doesn't matter if, if my game plan goes completely out of the window. I will find a way to stop George Groves. He's, you know, there's just no chance in hell that he's going to take this away from me. Um, I'm a man of my word. And George, you will not see the 12th round. You know, I like Junior's attitude. You know, I used to like it when he was my sparring partner. I used to pay him to come in. We used to do rounds, and he wouldn't talk to anyone, which was, you know, I, I like that about him. He used to come in, put his um, put his Vaseline on in the corner, warm up, and give you good work. You know, it was exactly what I needed at the time. Um, he's terrific for a soundbite. You know, he, he he gives you those those short piece statements. He's those things work for him. It's made him, you know. Insta famous, you know, but we'll, um, it's, 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 this is different, you know. Like, I used to hear people talk about levels, and it used to frustrate me a little bit at the start, you know, uh, when you start your career and you hear people talking about levels. My mate James Ago used to use it a lot, and I never really understood it, but sort of I have come full circle, and, and I do understand that, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter how well you prepare or, you know, how many things go in your favour, that you, you, there's people you just can't beat, and, um, so I'm sorry to say for Junior that he's uh, he's not good enough. You know, he doesn't have the pedigree. He doesn't have the ability. Oh, he... That is hurtful. Pedigree. Oh my goodness. Uh, I wasn't going to talk. Pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> pedigree. Please. <laughs> I mean, look at the way he has come. Look at the way he's come up. Look at the ease in which he dispatched of. Uh, Arthur Abraham. Look at the 
the extraordinary way in which he dismantled uh, the, uh, the powerful Avni Yildirim. Pedigree. This is pedigree. Uh, I would like to say mother, but, I, but I'm not going to. <laughs> this is pedigree, and I have nothing more to add. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> He's not a combination puncher. He doesn't throw pun he doesn't throw punches in bunches. George is, you know, he's, he's a counter puncher. Um, you know, speed speed is what I do. I can hit a man, uh, you know, six, seven, eight times when they're standing still, like a, a bag. You mean, yeah? George, because that's what I say. You're insta famous, brother. You, you insta, are fantastic. In, insta famous. Has fantastic. To do with my short clips. Ability. On the bag, maybe on the pads, on the body bag. You know, I mean, they, they look great, you know. I, I hit Avni Yildirim with like eight punches within two seconds. He stood still like a bag. Like. You're, you're going to stand still too. Okay, well, we'll see. You're, you're, you know, you're young, but you're an old man in the game. You're, uh, you're not the fighter you used to be. And no, when, I'm better. When, when, when the going gets tough... You're going to sing now. You plant your feet. <laughs> you, you plant your feet. And you swing, you don't move. So you will stand still, you will be there for me to tee off on you. We see what it is, we can see when, when there's something behind the punches, we can see when you're leaving openings behind the punches, we see when you need to go for a breather and you disguise it well. But, you know, as I say, when you watch me, maybe um, I don't do myself justice. Maybe you're I don't look as me. quick as I actually am. Maybe my timing don't look as good as it actually is. And maybe my punch power is you know, underrated, but... Um, no, that's the only thing you do have. That's the only thing that people give you credit for is the fact that you can hit. Hey, I wouldn't, that, that's way down on my list of my attributes. Aside okay. from that, you're, 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 you're pretty average. You don't have that much speed. Your, your defense is poor yeah. and your stamina, in my opinion, is, you know, average at best. Uh, and those attributes, uh, you know, the fact that you're lacking in those, in those parts of boxing means you can't compete with me. And once that button's pushed on you, you do go to sleep. I did. I went to sleep, my friend. I, in front I've, of 80,000 people. I've, it was I've, never, the I've time. never been put to sleep. And I've been hit with big shots uh, in fights and sparring. You know, I get a little flash of white if I get tagged. And then I'm right back there. My legs don't wobble. I don't go to the floor. You, you crumble. And I'm going to catch you. What, 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 what Frosch did to you, that took something out of you. I see it in your eyes. Maybe it did at I the time. I see it in your performances. Maybe it did at the time. But I've been on a fantastic rebuilding phase, my friend. Like, yeah. since, like, since I've been working with Shane McGuigan next to me, Shane, Shane you have seen you. the improvements. If, and if, I you're, know if you're counting on Shane to help you get through this, you're in, you're in, you're in deep trouble. I am using Shane. Shane's, Shane's, Shane's been kid, fantastic Shane's for me. He's a, a great coach. Shane, it's Shane great is, to have, finally a have a good coach in my corner. You know. I have to at this point because in my career, the reason why I was um, like I was, Ronnie left me alone. Junior is left alone. I don't really train him. Ronnie doesn't really train him. He does it. It's actually inside him. I believe that, you know. Okay, I, I, so, I, 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 I think that's evident, yeah. It's evident. Mm -hmm. That's okay. right. Okay. I don't, I don't need, him. I don't count on the I'm team to it, give right? me... Uh, you know, that, well, that's one of the reasons me, why you give me the arrogance sure. and the and the uh, and the the confidence to go into a fight and and put on the performances I do. You seem to rely on your team. Your team is not going to be there taking those punches, George. No, I, I don't rely on my team to take the punches, but I rely on them to give me the right instructions and prepare me for the fight. I don't, which need, they I do don't do. need instructions to beat you, George. I know I know what you are. It doesn't matter okay. what my father okay. says. No, it doesn't matter great. what Ronnie Absolutely. Davis says. Great. You're okay. you're not seeing the twelfth round. You're gonna get groves. It's a groves. pivotal point between Chris Jr. He's in, he's in for a groves, and that's what happened dad. when uh, when when Carl Froch knocked him out. People said that oh, he, he got groves because his, his leg folded and he's on the floor. That's exactly what's gonna happen in this fight. You're in for a groves. It's a pivotal point between the relationship between the father and son because so far You're in so much he's trouble. done him a massive favor inadvertently by being addicted to the attention, like addicted <clears throat> to the you know talking talking about himself. But now all of a sudden, people actually bought into it. They believe that Junior is, is the real deal. They think he's legit. Now he's got to have to step up and prove it. Has he outgrown his father? That's what I want to know. Has he, has he outgrown the dad? So you because don't think I'm legit? Dad, well, we don't know yet. 
Because you haven't boxed at the highest level. Okay, so how about I release the, the, the sparring footage I have of me and you? Then release what you like, my friend. You, I've got sparring footage. That? Release what you want. Okay. I'll bet you can get together some fantastic 10-second Insta clips. I, I, I'll, I'll, show the, I'll show the whole 8, 9, 10 rounds we used to do. Show the whole lot, you know? Show the whole lot. You um, know I'm legit, so don't sit here in this press conference trying to act like, you know, I'm, I'm some... I'm some, you know, stepping stone. I'm a really mountain. I don't really like to talk about I'm, sparring I'm Mount Everest, too much. And you ain't going to climb me, trust me. What? Sorry? You're calling me a stepping stone. I'm not a stepping stone. I'm a mountain. And you are not going to climb it. Well, <laughs> the language is dangerous. It's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful thing.